Welcome to the WBC Arena. Excited to be here for this one. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. Time for our tale of the tape. And here is the legend himself, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. His opponent tonight, Terrence Bud Crawford, perhaps the pound for pound king. Five foot eight inches tall with a 74 inch reach. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. This is one of those classic fights that everybody wants to see. So here is Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Terrence Bud Crawford, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. He also can crack at welterweight, one of the best to ever do it. You can hardly hear yourself speak. The fans are going mad for this. There you have it. It is time to go and cannot wait for this fight. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Fighting out of the blue corner from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed two weight division champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. This is going to be that fight. This is what people are going to be talking about forever and a day. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. You can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. He just misses with that jab. the buzz in the air tonight. So much hype here in this arena. We have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this. They love this. They are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rubber and the headlines. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. Slugger, as you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? So important. The referee's going to do his fight right. He's going to judge this right. He's going to do his job right. First one to get clipped. Got him with a left jab. Oh, and there he caught him. 
him with a stiff jab. The counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Hard. I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. And that just changes from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. Misses with that jab. Nice shot with the left. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round, anywhere this year. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. This fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? This fighter's going to get clipped first. with that jab. Can you believe this? Terrence Crawford just got rocked. Right back into the fray. This fighter has tested. Crawford may be ready to go down. Crawford I thought that in was going to be a knockdown at least. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He's got to get out of there. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. Miss with that left jab. Got him with a heavy punch. He misses with that jab. This round could go either. Johnny, what's your advice to this fighter now? He is down big time in the school. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every... Here's the bell to start round four. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Hard. You know what? Sometimes when I go in the ring with fighters like that and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now?
In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Crawford is dazed. And Crawford is on the canvas. One, two, three, four, five. Crawford in trouble. Time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. That is going to be one of those what happened next shots. Where did it come from? How did he land? He didn't, he didn't, he didn't get knocked down. He got knocked out. I mean, out, out. <laughs>